What you guys got another video here for you on an easy way to customize your Linux desktop. Now this is Pop OS and it's a pretty popular uh, Linux distro that you can use in replace of Windows 10 if that is what you want to do. So you can see here we've got it all installed and if you want to make it look a little bit more nicer then I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off let's open up our terminal and once we've got our terminal open we're just going to run a couple of commands here to get everything updated and this is a sudo apt um, update and we'll just let that run uh, put our password in here and this will update everything and make sure it's all up to date and then when we've done this we'll run the upgrade one as well to make sure everything is upgraded so let's go ahead and uh, do that next so we're going to go sudo apt and upgrade and we can now push enter and let that run there we go and say yes Y for yes and we got that all done okay so now we got that done what we're going to do is let this finish off now the good thing about customizing uh, your own Linux is to your own flavor you can do whatever you like you can change the themes you can uh, add a bar down the bottom like a taskbar down the bottom you can change the start button you can do pretty much whatever you like but we're going to try and keep this as simple as possible for all you people that are jumping over from uh, Windows to Linux which will make this a lot easier for you to do so we'll just let this finish off doing its upgrade and then we can uh, move on with the tutorial now it is pretty simple it's not as difficult as you may think but you just need to get familiar uh, with the operating system which isn't too bad uh, to do once you've been using it on a daily basis now remember you can use the exact same method as what I'm showing you here but you can change up the theme and the color scheme and all whatever you want to do here you can change just about anything you like this is just to give you an idea of how easy it is to give it your own type of feel so we're just letting that finish off here at 99% there we go we are now done so what we're going to do here now is type in this command here which is sudo reboot and let the system reboot just to make sure everything is up and running so we've now rebooted the system and we've got our terminal open and now I'm going to download some tools so we can go to sudo apt dash get you don't have to put the dash get on there you can just put apt install if you want to and then space gnome dash tweak dash tool and then once we got that in there like so push enter put in your password and then this will download that tool say yes y for yes and push enter and this gets this all ready now this will add a nice little tool in which we can use for tweaking our os so you can see here uh, inside here it should be under all and we should have tweaks added in the menu here so I'm going to click on this one here and this is it here so this will give you access to appearance extensions fonts key a keyboard and mouse you know start up applications top bar windows um, title bar and also windows and workspace so you can customize this by using this particular type of tool very powerful indeed and very easy to use so now we've got this installed what we're going to do is go on and get some other bits and pieces for our customization so we're going to open up our browser and uh, you can see here this is going to open up and we should be able to type in an extension here so we want to get some extensions so I'm going to go over to gnome extensions so I'm just going to put gnome extensions there we go push enter and this will give us a website called gnome shell extensions here click on this one and this will open up this web page now inside here we can search for a bunch of uh, extensions and bits and pieces that we want to customize our uh, distro here so what we're going to do is go in the search box here and type in here shell space extension there we go and you should see it here down below just looking here okay so I can see extensions there so what I want to do is I want to install uh, that extensions here so click on this one and we are now going to click on the link up above here so if you click on the link up above where it says click here to install the browser extensions continue here and let that install and click add and you can say okay got it and we've now got that added onto our browser 
Okay, so next up, what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna do a search for some more uh, bits and pieces that we need. So go back uh, to our search box here. And I wanna get some themes on here as well. So what I will do is do a search, user themes, and then we can add that in. Now you can see here, there's a little toggle button here now that's been added, which allows us to just add this by toggling it on and it will give us the install uh, prompt box popping up there. So just click install and let that install. So now we've got user themes installed and we've got our extensions installed. Pretty simple stuff. So what we need to do next is get a few more bits and pieces. So what I'm gonna do here is go back to the main search and we can search for some other bits. So I'm gonna do dash two panel and we can now add this dash to panel in and toggle this on and click install and that's now done. And you could take more time to read some of this stuff uh, if you want to know about it, but we're just gonna go ahead and get that installed. Okay, so next we're gonna go uh, arch menu and we're gonna install this one. Now there's a few menus down here, Zorin menu and other types of menus. I'm just gonna do this one here. Now there is a command that you need to put in before you install or turn this on. I actually missed this bit here, but you can see here just above it says sudo apt install uh, gnome shell extensions gnome menus. I completely forgot that bit and I toggled this on and went to install and I got the error message popping up here. Now that's okay, not too worried about it. I'm just gonna copy this here. You can't do anything about this at the moment. So let's just go ahead and copy this and install this into our terminal. There we go, I'm gonna paste this in here and then push enter give it our password for our account and let that install say wifey yes to enter there we go and that's now all installed now what I will need to do is go back here to the plugin and um, uninstall and re-enable this so let me just quickly go ahead and do that close this off I'm going to quickly refresh here and you should see another icon pop up here there we go so I'm just going to quickly uh, push the uninstall extension and we can toggle it on again and that should now work. Click install and it should now work because we did that command before we did that. So I messed that bit up, but that's okay. No harm done. So now you can see here, we've got our little start button down here now, our little menu, which is good. And you can see we've got our dash to panel by right clicking on that start button and we can now turn this other feature off because we don't want that other one there no more because we've got our menu and our start button down there and that's much more easier to manage you can see it's put a nice bar on the bottom there as well which is a much nicer feature for my for me and what I need okay so what we want to do next is get our theme installed and we want to change the wallpaper and add a few more bits in so let's go back to our browser here and put in here gnome uh, look and this will allow us to search for a bunch of themes and other bits and pieces that you may want to use in your build so let's go ahead and do a quick search here there we go and of course there we are we've got a bunch of stuff we can choose here there is tons of stuff on here I'm not going to spend too much time going through a whole bunch of stuff but I've selected this one just for this tutorial we can install it or we can download it so what I'm going to do is download this and I'll show you how to manually install these themes. It's pretty straightforward uh, once you know how. So I'm gonna quickly download this here and save it to my computer. Once we've got that saved, we can open our archive. So what I'm gonna do here, so I'll show you how to manually install these. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So what I'll do is go to files and go to the downloads folder. Let me just quickly shut this browser off behind me. There we go. Go to the downloads folder here where you've got all your stuff you've downloaded, which is our theme. Right click on this and open with archive manager and this should open it up. Now drag that folder into the downloads area here and we can right click on that uh, folder and copy this. Okay, that's that simple. Now we're gonna go to our home directory and push uh, control H and this will show hidden files. Then we're gonna right click inside this space here and we're gonna go new, a new folder. And now we're gonna create a new folder and put this inside here. So put dot and then themes. And this is where we're gonna create 
and put all our themes. So go inside that folder now and right click and paste. And now we've got that theme in, in that location there. So now we've got that in that location, we can go back to our tweak tool here. So let me just quickly open up our tweaks and we can now go to up to appearance here and you should now see an area called shell and we can now change this to our theme. So we're going to change that to our theme and we're also going to change the applications as well to our theme. Now, of course, you can choose whatever type of theme you want. I'm just showing you how to do it. And you can see now that's all changed. And now we've got that blue and sort of charcoal gray look. OK, and this can be whatever flavor you want uh, to change up there. So you've got some other bits and pieces in here we can mess around with. I'm not going to get too heavy into it, but basically that's how you can uh, change the start button and also change the color and the theme of this operating system here, what we've got installed which is pop os by the way so you can see once you've got all these installed it makes customizing your desktop a lot more easier and you can just toggle stuff on and off and make it look really nice so you can see here we've got our dash to panel which will be showing up down the bottom right here so let's go back to our gnome extensions here type in here top icons plus and we're going to click on this and we're going to enable that feature right there and there we go and that should give us some notifications down the bottom right hand corner there once we've got this toggled on so let that be done and then what we need to do here is we're going to open up our little start button here and we can now open up the arch menu this is where you can make changes to the general area appearance shortcuts and pinned apps and some other bits and pieces up here like colors and things like that you can make a mess around with that really nice little feature that OK, so let's give it a wallpaper here. I've just gone to a wallpaper site here and we'll search for a wallpaper that suits this particular type of theme. And you can see I've added that in now and we've got that dropped on the background. So it looks quite nice. You can put whatever wallpapers you like. And we're just going to do um, a couple of more bits here, which is called open weather. And again, you can just go to open weather here. Click on this one and we can now uh, toggle that on. So just go on here and toggle this on and then click install and this will install that for us and that should drop that down on the bottom right hand side there as you can see and this will give you a full blown uh, weather report for your area once you configure it so let me just quickly show you here down the bottom when you click on this you can see it gives you a bunch of information here and you can see it's giving you the time and some location humidity and all that sort of good stuff you can change the locations you can add more than one location in here change the weather provider and you can mess around with the uh, geolocation provider units layout and about so you can see quite a nice little application that and it will give you a full blown uh, weather report here and what's going to be happening and what the temperature is and all that sort of good stuff and it will live down there on your uh, bar there and you can change the Fahrenheit to Celsius if you wish as well so let's go ahead and add in another one here just want to add a uh, net speed here so we're going to go back to gnome extensions and we're going to put net speed inside here and this will just let you know what is going on with your network speed whether someone is utilizing all your uh, bandwidth and it will just tell you what's going in and out of your computer so we're just going to toggle that on and install that as well and that should add that just down there on the bottom right hand corner of our taskbar which is a nice little feature to add and you can see it living down there just nicely so there's another little feature there and you can add other stuff in you don't have to add these ones in you can just have a good look around on that uh, gnome extension site and have a look at stuff that you may want to use and utilize on your system and uh, just don't install what i'm doing you can do whatever you like i'm just showing you how easy it is to customize your desktop very simple and easy to do so we'll do one more, which is to do with our sound. So I'm going to go back inside here and go to extensions and type in here uh, sound. And this will give us a bit more control over our sound here. So sound input and output device chooser. This is very useful and I'm going to toggle this on and install it because it's quite useful when you're doing uh, different types of uh, sound, you know, like headphones, maybe speakers and stuff like that. You can just select them and change it up very quick and easy, like you would in Windows as well. So you can make it very familiar to Windows 
with all these types of features like the start uh, menu which I've added in here you've got all your calendar and stuff like that and you've got your sound here you can change this over to whatever you like very simple and easy to do just like you would do in any other operating system and again I think that's going to be about it for this video we've got quite a few little things we've changed on this desktop it makes it a little bit more uh, personal and that's the good thing about um, Linux you can really sort of give it your own personal touch um, and many other people may have a slightly different desktop to you and that's the beauty of Linux you can really sort of customize it to your own needs and your own liking and again you've got full control here just like you would on any other operating system and it looks quite nice and of course if you don't like this sort of theme or this sort of color scheme then you can change it you know you don't have to have exactly what I've got here and again you can uh, change yours up to your own type of theme your own type of menu down the bottom there you can set it up exactly how you like and that is the beauty of Linux and you don't have to be a Linux guru to do it it's not that difficult and as you can see here it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and again let me know in the comments section below what sort of content you like and whether you like this sort of content and I'll make more of it if you're interested if you get some views I'll do some more of it for sure and again, this has been uh, Linux uh, Pop OS. And if you want to see any other sort of Linux distro, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.